welcome to the Therapy for Black Girls podcast, a weekly conversation about mental health, personal development, and all the small decisions we can make to become the best possible versions of ourselves. I'm your host, Dr. Joy Harden Bradford, a licensed psychologist in Atlanta, Georgia. For more information or to find a therapist in your area, visit our website at therapyforblackgirls.com. While I hope you love listening to and learning from the podcast, it is not meant to be a substitute for a relationship with a licensed mental health professional. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for joining me for session 108 of the Therapy for Black Girls podcast. Today, we're going to be chatting about how you can find your people, your tribe, the people who have your back and you have theirs. But first, let's show some love to our sponsors. In recent months, you've probably seen lots of talk about people using coloring books and apps as a part of their self-care routines. Coloring can be really helpful in managing anxiety, helping you to be more in touch with the present moment, and engaging your sense of playfulness that we often lose when we grow up. So I'm super excited to tell you about Color Noir, N-O-I-R, which is the first and only coloring book app celebrating Black women and culture. Color Noir was created by husband and wife team Moyo Okome and Nikayla Matthews Okome, who have combined their talents to create a high-quality app experience using coloring to celebrate Black girl magic in all of its glory. It's free to download, and to get it, all you have to do is open up your iOS app store, search for Color Noir, that's N-O-I-R, and enjoy. And make sure you hit subscribe in the app so you can get all of the amazing images, updates, and premium content dropping each and every month. Again, it's available in the iOS app store. It'll be coming to Android soon. And the name of the app is Color Noir, N-O-I-R. Support for today's episode also comes from Naturalicious. Naturalicious is the world's first vegan, high-performance hair care line that delivers the results of 12 products in only three. It's designed to reduce time spent on hair care and is proven to save up to 80% of time on wash day. Naturalicious was founded by innovator Gwen Jameer, who is the first and only African-American woman to hold a patent on a natural hair care product. These products are great specifically for busy women with curly and coily hair, also known as 4C hair, and they are all natural. I've been using the products on my hair for the past three months now, and they are now the only things that I use. They leave my hair detangled after washing, shiny, and incredibly moisturized. It's a three-step process, and the products all work great together and take far less time than anything I've ever used before. So if you want to cut down on the amount of products you use and get some time back in your busy schedule, then I definitely recommend you try them. You can find the Naturalicious products in over 1,200 Sally stores nationwide, or you can buy them online at sallybeauty.com. Use our exclusive promo code 555555, that's six fives for y'all, at checkout to save 10% off of your purchase. Now let's get back to our episode. So if you follow me on Instagram or if you're signed up for our Sunday newsletter, then you know I was in D.C. at the Momference this past weekend. So the Momference is a first-of-its-kind, incredible experience that brings together Black and brown mamas from across the country for a day of learning and connecting. In my presentation, I talked about how moms can cultivate calm in the midst of chaos And one of the things that I offered was finding your mama tribe. This sentiment was echoed by lots of other speakers this weekend as well. It's just the idea that none of us can do this parenting thing alone. But it also got me thinking on a larger scale, even beyond parenting, that none of us can do this life thing alone. And we really need our people, our tribe, to have our back. One of the main things that I hear about this is where do I find these people? So that's what I wanted us to chat about today. Where can you begin to find your people? So one of the first places that I'd suggest for finding your people 
is at conferences and gatherings, kind of like the Monference. So I know Summit 21 is coming up here in Atlanta next month. Miley Teal just had a retreat. Christina Rice has several retreats every year. Sarah Jakes Roberts has Woman Evolve every year. There are conferences associated with most professional organizations that you can attend. There are plenty of gatherings of like-minded people for almost anything that you can think of. Now, I do understand that these kinds of things can be pricey, but if you can swing it, it can be an investment that pays off in lots of different ways. I think that one of the ways you can make the most of an event like this is to, one, do your research ahead of time and make sure that the kinds of people who have attended in the past are the kinds of people you'd want to connect with. You can do this pretty easily by searching the hashtags for the events to see what kinds of things people share. And then you can dig a little deeper to see what kinds of things these people are interested in, either based on what they share on social media, or you can even send them a message and ask if you can speak with them briefly or shoot them a couple of questions by DM to ask about their experiences at XYZ event. Many people will be really happy to share their opinions about something, especially if it's an event that they really enjoyed. I think it's also really important to be strategic about how you go into an experience. If possible, is there a way that you can connect with other people who will be attending beforehand? Again, when people are excited about an event, they usually share it on social media. So try to connect with others ahead of time so that you can start to build the relationship before you even leave your city. And this might be incredibly important, especially if you're somebody who's introverted or a little more on the shy side. Another thing that might help is to try to get to the gathering site a day before it all starts so that you have some time to meet other people who have arrived early in maybe a little bit more of a laid back atmosphere. The second place that I think can be great for finding your people is in virtual groups. So places like Facebook groups for particular topics, you know, we have the Thrive Tribe that is our Facebook group for this community. Communities created using Twitter hashtags and even the comment section of certain outlets and social media pages have built a sense of community that allows you to get to know the other commenters. Again, much of this work will require you to do some legwork on your part, but you can build incredibly satisfying and supportive relationships completely virtually. One speaker that I met this weekend shared that she had connected with another sister on IG four years ago and they just met at the Monfrey's this past weekend for the first time. So it's definitely possible. I've also found that it's pretty easy to meet other like-minded people by participating in Twitter chats. So Black Girl in Ohm has a Twitter chat called BGIO Mindful, and I just participated in that one a few weeks ago and have continued to talk with some of those participants. Creative Smart Girl has great chats from time to time, and there's also a thriving community of Black women in academia under the site of sister hashtag, and all of these will be included in the show notes so that you can go and find them. So if you do some research and ask some questions, online can be a really amazing opportunity for you to find your people. And then the third and final place that I think can be great for finding your people is by looking a little more closely in your everyday life. Sometimes there are people in our lives who could really become our people with a little bit of effort on our parts. So the sister that you exchanged pleasantries with at the end of yoga class, or the person in your calculus class who explains to you what happened when you missed something the professor said, or the sister who works on the sixth floor that you run into every now and then, How might you deepen some of these relationships to see if this might be someone who you really enjoy? You remember how in grade school we would just say stuff like, oh, she's going to be my best friend. Well, you might not say that now as an adult, but would it hurt to catch the sister after yoga and say, hey, I'm new to the area and I would love to be able to meet some new people. Can I treat you to lunch at your favorite restaurant so I can get to know the city a little more? Now, of course, this may be a little uncomfortable at first, but the worst that she can say is no. And no doesn't necessarily mean that you stop. It just means that maybe you find somebody else to try with and that you don't stop until you find your people. So I'm really curious to know, and I know lots of other listeners will be curious as well, 
Tell us where in real life or online you've met your people. What Facebook groups, IG accounts, etc. would you suggest for other people who are looking to build their tribe? Share that with us on social media using the hashtag TBG in session so that we can help each other connect. Again, be sure to show some love and support for our sponsors for this episode. Color Noir is the first and only coloring book app celebrating Black women in culture. It's free to download, and to get it, all you have to do is open up your iOS app store, search for Color Noir, that's N-O-I-R, and enjoy. Be sure to hit subscribe in the app so that you can get all of the amazing images, updates, and premium content dropping each and every month. And be sure to check out Naturalicious. It's the world's first vegan, high-performance hair care line that delivers the results of 12 products in only three. You can find the products in over 1,200 Sally stores nationwide, and you can also get 10% off your purchase online by going to sallybeauty.com and using the promo code 555-555 at checkout. Remember that if you're searching for a therapist in your area, visit our therapist directory at therapyforblackgirls.com slash directory. And if you want to continue this conversation with other sisters who listen to the podcast, which is, of course, all we've been talking about is building your tribe, come on over and join us in our Thrive Tribe. You can request to join at therapyforblackgirls.com slash tribe. And be sure to answer the three questions that are asked to gain entry. Don't forget to shop in our online store at therapyforblackgirls.com slash shop, where you can find our guided affirmation track, breakup journal, and your Therapy for Black Girls t-shirts and mugs. Thank y'all so much for joining me again this week. I look forward to continuing this conversation with you all real soon. Take good care.